Hola. <laughs> Hola. Bienvenido. ¿Qué pasa? You were just waiting for a long time. I didn't know what was going on. Bienvenidos <laughs> a Lightspeed Spanish. This is Beginners number 49. And today we have a suggestion from Jeff C. Hola, Jeff. Hola, Jeff. Jeff always comes to our live streaming and stuff like that. We've talked to Jeff before. Jeff uh, has asked us to talk about the words like algún, alguno, algunos, and then ningún, ningunos. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So, all or nothing. Or some. All or nothing. All or nothing. Or some. <laughs> or some. <laughs> Entonces, eh, nos vemos en la segunda parte. <laughs> Cynthia, let's start with with alguno. Alguno. Okay? Alguno. Now, the problem with uh, alguno is it depends on the sentence in English for the translation, doesn't it? Oh, mm, alguno. It could be affirmative or negative, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah. In English, but for example, in English, don't... it's going to be um, some, some, or any. Exactly. Yeah, and it depends on the circumstances, yeah. Yes, in Spanish, alguno is uh, some. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's in the somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ninguno would be in the none. The none. No one yeah. or mm -hmm. anybody in the negative. Yeah. Yeah. But because of the way that we speak in English, yeah. mm, sometimes it ends up being different things. So we'll, let, yes. we'll do some examples, exactly. yeah? So for example... Um, eh, ¿Hay algún hombre por aquí? ¿Hay algún hombre por aquí? Yeah. Okay. So, so that would translate as is there a man? Yeah. Or, Or is any. there any man, any man? Any man around here? Any man, yeah? So any. That would really be it, yeah? Uh -huh. um, but what have I done? Hang on, because I, I, I've said algún. Uh -huh. Why? Why not alguno hombre? Well, because like with uno and un, when you have the noun following, we don't we can't say ninguno, ninguno hombre, no. Or uno coche, no. We say un coche or algún hombre. Yeah? Exactly. Anything masculine, singular. I remember one student said to me, um, I, for years, I was saying uno café, yeah, and of no, course it's un not. Café. Un café. Yeah, all right. So that would be, is there any man around here? Hay algún hombre, yeah? Hay algún hombre. What about if it was a woman, though? How, what would we do then? Then it would be, hay alguna, alguna mujer. Do you know, it works like un, una, unos, unas, yeah. uno. Mm -hmm. Okay, so una mujer, alguna mujer. Mm -hmm. And then if it were, are, are there any men around here? Hay algunos hombres. Algunos. So unos hombres would be algunos hombres. Yeah. So I suppose the trick is, as you're rightly pointing out, it works just like un, uh -huh. uno, una. Uh -huh. Unos, unas. Exactly. And except you're just putting alg on the front. You're putting an alg on alg. the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's happening? Uh, right. So with... Ninguno. Okay. Okay. So, no hay ningún hombre por aquí. So, with ninguno, we do the same as we do with alguno. If we have the noun following, like hombre is a noun, then we can't say ninguno, ninguno hombre. We can't say un hombre and we can't say alguno hombre. We would have to say un hombre, algún hombre, o ningún hombre. Yeah. Yeah. Ningún hombre. And so there isn't... Now, we can't say there isn't any man around here. Right? That wouldn't work in English. There isn't any man. There isn't... A man. There's no man around here. Okay. Okay? We can say whatever So like. there's no man. <laughs> no. There's no man. But in Spanish, I have to say... The, the, ninguno. Ninguno is not even one. That's what... Ninguno ni is uno. none. Yeah. At all. Yeah, not no even I, No one. hay ninguno. There's none. Yeah. Or there's no one. Mm -hmm. Or the, no, there's no... Well, you can say... There's none, yeah? There's none. 
there's there's well, no, there are none. It, obviously if you're going to put a, 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 a noun on it, there's there's no man around here that's what yeah. we would have to say it but in spanish it would have to be no hay ningún hombre so hay un hombre there's a man hay algún hombre there's some man but we can't in english you see it doesn't work there's there's a man okay in a question we would have to say we would have to go to the plural are there any men around here or is there a man around here we can't say is there any man around here it just doesn't work uh, for example imagine that you're lost yeah somewhere and you want to know if there's anyone uh, well, we, want, we want to use instead of the word anyone which will be alguien we want to use person so hay alguna persona yeah? uh, in English in English so I would say <laughs> are, there, are there any people around here? I would have so to you wouldn't say, is there any person? No. Is there any person? Is there any person around here? <laughs> uh, is there any person who knows blah, blah, blah? But right. is there any... An, um, interesting, okay? In Spanish, you can't say, hay alguna gente por aquí. Alguna gente. That's how we say it. Algunas, any... algunas personas. Algunas personas. We would say, are there any people around here? But in Spanish, you have to say, are there any persons around here? Mm, yeah. yeah. Algunas personas. Algunas personas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it can be uh, not any, not one. Well, we could say, hay alguna persona aquí. Alguna persona. We could say that. Like, we're okay. alone, we could say, is there any person here? We could say that in Spanish. Yeah. ¿Hay alguna persona aquí? Uh -huh. Also, like in the, the sense of, is there anyone here or is there any person here who could help me, for yeah. example? And obviously, that I'm avoiding that because this is beginners. And when we get to, ¿hay yeah. alguna persona yeah, we're que? Sub subjunctive, we're yeah. in subjunctive, <laughs> right? And, if you, and even beginners, we're halfway through the subjunctive course for beginners. So don't think that you're getting away with it, okay? <laughs> right? Just because we're avoiding it in this one, it's coming back with a vengeance. <laughs> All right. So okay. Uh, all right. So we've got hay algún pers uh, algún alguna persona. Hay alguna right? persona. Alguna persona. No hay ninguna persona. No hay ninguna persona. Also, you can make it into a question uh -huh. or in a statement. Yeah. No hay ninguna persona aquí. Yeah. Okay. But remember, you can't say eh, hay alguna gente. No, you can't no. say it. You can't just say doesn't work. It. Algunas, algunas personas, personas. Or algunas personas. Some, peop, some, some persons. Some persons. Some persons, yeah. Now, Cynthia, what's going on with this? No hay persona alguna. Yeah, we can say that. No hay persona alguna. Yeah. What's going on there? Why isn't it not no hay persona ninguna? Well, it's, it's a... a, a posher way I would say mm -hmm. a nicer way to say the same thing so you could say eh, no hay no hay ninguna persona uh -huh. which is the standard or if you feel a little bit posher you can say <laughs> no hay persona alguna yeah but for context like there's no one who could I don't know for example mm, uh, there's no one who could refute this mm -hmm. and you want to sound a little bit yeah. 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 Uh -huh. No hay so, persona alguna. So, I hear, no hay ninguna persona, 95% of the time. Oh my goodness, a mosquito. 95% of the time, I hear, no hay ninguna persona. And 5% of the time, I hear, eh, no hay. No, no, no hay. And the, persona the, 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 the noun alguna, or whatever. And then, say. alguna. See, so it didn't come to my mind because I haven't heard it very often. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Um, no hay duda alguna, for example. That's very common. That's very common, isn't it? No hay duda no alguna. No hay duda alguna. O no hay ninguna duda. But no hay duda alguna is common. That's a common structure there. Yeah. Common sentence. Okay. All right. So that's, that's your... Uh, you know, when we get into the, wor in the world of some... Uh, one, any, none. Then, then it gets it gets a little bit weird because Spanish is weird compared to. I think Spanish is easier. 
yeah. than English. It's true. It's true. In, in, in terms of it's consistency true. in the grammar. For example, the, the, we haven't talked about it, but there's a word, uh, cualquier, cualquiera, uh-huh. right? which is nice and straightforward in Spanish, gets a bit complicated in English, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, cualquiera gets a bit, yeah. We're going to uh, shades there with English. <laughs> we'll, deal, we'll deal with that in another another one because, because cualquiera is weird in Spanish anyway. It is weird because it doesn't take the gender of the noun. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, cualquier hombre, cualquier mujer. Uh, well, we can say un hombre cualquiera. Cualquiera, una mujer cualquiera. It's a weird so one. It's, 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 a, a, it's a, bit, a funny one. But we're not, we're not into cualquier. We're into we're algún. No vamos, algún a, no vamos a hacer cualquier cosa. No, 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 no. no, no. Whoa, Mosquito, it's back. Mosquito is back get, with a vengeance. Get, get evil. Evil. Aww. No, 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 it's not, it, it, but, it, you know. Only female mosquitoes bite. You know that? Yeah. For the eggs, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so there you <laughs> are. There's your, there's your algún, alguno, and ningún, ninguno. And we haven't done much with ningún, ninguno, eh? No, but. We haven't done much. Just, but just an idea, an idea. <laughs> okay. And now, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> we're running out of books to advertise. We keep we're, we're repeating now. We're repeating because we're, we've done we've done. What's this? Something for re- repetition for eh? repetition for emphasis. Repetition for emphasis. It's good. People like repetition, right? This book said in a start. This is our um, this this is the bestseller that we have alongside the um, perfecting the past. These the, two. The mosquito likes you. He's back here. Is it back? Yeah. <laughs> but why me? Smelling you, like, mm. <laughs> tasty British man. So yeah. <laughs> so this is this is one of our more popular books. Okay, look, it's all over the place. There we are. Look. Go away. No. All over the place. This is one of our most popular books. Okay. Why? Because Ser and Estad is one of the biggest challenges from beginning all the way through. It doesn't matter what level. When we've had advanced speakers in our classes. Ser and Star is still an issue. It yeah. really is. And you can do, you know, you can do a lesson from this book. In another a, level. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Well, because then you go into um, the past. And if you haven't got Ser and Star sorted in the present, it's a disaster in the past because you've got more to do. So that's available on Amazon. I'll put the information down below if you're interested in that. And if you've already got the book, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, because lots of times people put, I've got that book, I've got that book, I've got all the books. Yeah, and I think, well, we better write another one then. <laughs> we better we get more. cracking. <laughs> yeah, just so you know, at the moment I'm working on, I'm working on the beginner's course. As soon as I've done that, I'm going to do some more audio books as well, because the audio books are very popular now. We've got three. That's and true. they're really, they're really popular. People like them, you know, because we have busy lives and they go out and when they're running or when they're driving or whatever, they yeah. listen to it, yeah. And I'll be doing a, another book club. That's right. Um, within a couple of months, maybe mm-hmm. three, it depends okay. how, how difficult or easy. No, how uh, the amount of work that I have. Sure, <laughs> sure, yeah, 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 yeah. So there you are. Bueno, eso es todo, chicos. Muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros. Y nos vemos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.